Ready? Yep. Okay. Well, I don't know much about sacred geometry, and uh, they're both supposed to be related. And here today, I spent the whole day to construct it out of bamboo and the joinery out of rope. Well, it's collapsing, which is a good thing. But uh, in terms of stability, when it is erected, it's like zero. You know, like it's. So bad it can't even be used. But then good news is that it's collapsing into the form we want it to be. So it's basically having the, these strut members, they're in complete compression and they're interconnected with tension. So this is an octahedron structure. This is this is using three doubles. We'll we call this doubles, yeah. So imagine this with uh, I think six, right? And then we can create the bigger structure, which is the what? I forgot what what it is. Icosahedron, right? So with that, what happens is every member, when you separate them and let them be at equilibrium without any external forces, they are floating. So it looks like as if they're interconnected by this tensile members, but they're all floating. What are the advantages of it? So by using tension and compression, it's too much into signs and stuff structures. Uh, you can build bridges by using very very less material, so that means less concrete, which equals to better sustainability. Well, I, I think I have to read more to, you know, be actually telling you guys stuff. Can we throw it to see oh, if it works? Throw it, yeah. So <coughs> we want to drop it and see if it's going to be stable or not after impact. Three, two, one. Well. Can you throw it away? Oh. And Mr. Buckminster Fuller, do you know him or if you don't know him then look it up. Yeah, just look it up guys. It's, we just introduced you to something so it's time for you to...